Unstoppable Tracy with the Disability Channel. Today I am on site with a VIP event. I'm sitting next to a very big VIP, big. not just because he's <laughs> three times as tall as me. <laughs> You're a very tall man. I, I am. I'm six foot two and a half inches, precisely. precisely. Six foot two and a half inches. There we go. <laughs> and I'm so I'm with you, counselor. And how would you like the world to call you? We were talking about this before the interview. Oh my gosh. Well, that that is a very leading question because you know you, you could ask my children what they call me. Yes, yes. What do they call you? <laughs> well, mostly dad, but not always. Not always. Yes. You have to filter because it's an all ages station. You no, know, with your TV Halton. Exactly. But but. But mostly people call me counselor, Sean. Counselor. Counselor. counselor uh, Sean. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy just to be called Paul. Yes. <laughs> yes. That works quite well. I feel very lucky that he said I could call him Paul. <laughs> but I'm still wanting to fall into the counselor, Charmin. You can do whatever you like. And I'm also, I'm thinking of that squeezable Charmin. Do you get oh, that all oh. the time? And when people like, say, so please don't squeeze the Charmin, I say, it depends. It depends. <laughs> If it only wasn't this pandemic where I'm, I'm responsible for sitting a distance a away from bit, you, I'd a little, a little bit. squeeze. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we're at this really neat venue, and it's brand new for me, because I'm new to Halton Region, but you know this venue, you've been here before. I've been here many times. Um, we, we, we conduct um, events here, we have board meetings here, we have all sorts of gatherings to celebrate things. No, this has been a great, a great venue for many years. For many years. But none of them sound as exciting as what we're doing today. This is the most exciting because I've never met you before. Oh, well, see, there's that. <laughs> You're so fun. Well, now we're going to change it to Unstoppable Counselor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know why right. I, I am the last counselor standing from the last elections? The last? Well, tell a little bit more about that. Oh, my gosh. Well, the, 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 the last election in Burlington got a little contentious mm -hmm. for a variety of reasons. And, uh, and so all, all, of all the other councillors, I was the only person re-elected. Well, I can completely understand why. We've been laughing our face off while we've been waiting for camera crew and people to come in. And you've been regaling me of stories in Turkey and Pakistan <laughs> and around the world. It's phenomenal. Oh, yes. But what brings you as tonight being here with us today? You know, it's, it's, it's just a fabulous opportunity to, to party with the Disability Channel. Yes. With Unstoppable Tracy with Jay Storen. You know, and uh, and we've got uh, Frank Rock here as That's well. That's right. From, uh, Frank Stroh. Uh, oh, did I get it wrong? No, well, Frank. Frank of Owl, right? Owl, yes. Yes, which is so great. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, on Owl is all about uh, employment opportunities for people with disabilities. And everyone at the Disability Channel is a person with a disability, mostly invisible, but everyone, you never know who's got one. But what I know about yourself already is just how playful you are. They know where he's Paul. He's playful Paul. I'm unstoppable, Tracy. He's playful Paul. <laughs> That's too much fun. And we got a lot of fun happening we do, tonight. We've already done that. That's yes. You're so much fun. You're just bringing it out. Uh, so the reason, the reason I'm here is because Jay had contacted us, uh, the city, uh, back in May, yes, and was interested in, in how we might work with uh, the disability channel uh, to engage the community. And so Lewis and uh, and uh, Jay were doing the videotaping. We did that. Oh, I don't know June or so, probably something like that. Um, the reason I'm interested is, is because clearly we have many people within the community um, who are disadvantaged because there are no opportunities. There's no education. There's no practical training to help people get into something that is useful for them to spend their time and improve their quality of life. Yes. So that, that was important, and that was your existing mission. But, but then add to that, I've been involved with trying to help our aging population uh, so that they can stay in their own homes and live longer and more high-quality lives. Uh, right? Yeah. And so I mentioned that to Jay, and he said, well, that's something we would like to participate in. Yes. And for the last four years, I've been working on something called Program of All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly, oh, I love that. which is a U.S.-based program in 30 states. And basically what it does is it provides surround services to people who are nursing care eligible, but to keep them out of nursing care is now hospitals. Yes. Right? I mean, what do you, why do you want to go to those places if you can stay at home and have a good quality of life? Yes. Life. 
So, so if they want to Google that, are they Googling programs of all-inclusive care? They can or? do that, or I would suggest they Google P-A-C-E Southeast yes. Michigan. Okay. P-A-C-E Southeast Michigan. The reason I say Michigan because they've got a really well-established program, yeah. and and I and we've been working with them, so they've been mentoring myself and others, and and in fact we have a pilot program already working in downtown Burlington with a 140-person uh, uh, building, wow, uh, operated by the Holton Community Housing Corporation, of which I'm a director, uh, and there are three more ha uh, housing uh, organizations about to get the same service. Phenomenal. Um, we've also uh, Established with the um, Joseph Brand Hospital in Burlington, okay. um, what they call the Ontario Health Team, which is redesigning the healthcare service, and right in the middle of we've we've baked pace services, which is fantastic. So we're scaling this up now. You really are. See, there's no wonder why you are the last man standing this election. I feel so lucky we didn't even learn about those things before the interview. I'm learning it right along with so many of our listeners here and just so much more excited to know you. My, my mother's British and so as soon as I heard his British accent I was immediately pulled into his sense of humor and you know I know tonight's going to be a good time and we're here for a phenomenal cause about employment for people with disabilities, about people who are actively aging and want to age in place even if they have needs for uh, independent living, they still have independent minds and of course want to live in their homes. And that is really exciting that you are partnering with Michigan, the subject matter experts, and bringing it here to Burlington, like this venue. But tonight we get to listen to Freedom Train, the <laughs> extraordinary band. And so that's a really fun way to fundraise so that we can make a difference in all of these areas, which is so sure. great. You know, Freedom Train is a local band, oh. and uh, so I've seen them. I've known them for years. Uh, oh. There was a was, there was a bar that used to be uh, uh, at uh, Fairview and Appleby Line, an intersection called Boston Manor. Boston and Manor. every now and again, the Freedom Train would be up there playing, and you know they got all the tunes. Oh, that's Very exciting. Great. And then uh, some friends of mine um, were having a wedding anniversary, and uh, they had the, they had. Freedom Train there. Like, they hired they Freedom know, Train. Well, they were friends of theirs. Oh, that's so great. It's fantastic. So these guys are great. I really appreciate it. Wow. Making a difference tonight. And yeah. I'm just, I'm glad to hear some music. It's the first time since the pandemic, since I've been out at a live venue and with a live band face to face. And now I get to be face to face with some VIPs. This is so wonderful. <laughs> and I'm so humbled and honored to learn your story. And hear the difference you're making in this incredible community and it's very fun to meet you. You know, it's a delight to be here. You know, it's, it's a pleasure to just be able to make a contribution. Yes, and you do. And you know, one of the reasons I was sort of playful about what do you call yourself is I feel like that relates to the world of people with disabilities. Is You were saying, I'm just pop, right? And then you're being playful about being a dad, right? And that I'm just Tracy or unstoppable Tracy. And, and we've all, some of us have arms and legs longer than others. <laughs> There's a lot. Mr. Well over six foot. And it hasn't gone unnoticed. I don't know if you can see on camera, but he has Olympian socks on. Now, he says they were just colorful on Amazon, but no, as no, a sailor, I'm very pleased. No, they match my shoes. They do. Look at these great orange soles, like a yellow <laughs> orange sole, and his gorgeous shirt. You know he's planning to have a really good time tonight. <laughs> and so what do you want to tell Burlington about tonight? Oh, for goodness sake, Burlington, we've got this opportunity to work with the Disability Channel uh, to, to uh, bring uh, services, education, and awareness about the, uh, the lives of folks with disability and how we can make them better. Yes. And, and to me, that, that's, a, that's a really significant challenge to us and a significant opportunity, and I'm excited to be part of it. We're very lucky that you're part of it. And we hope you'll come join us tonight. It's not too late to search Eventbrite and find the Disability Channel and find Journey Train and you can find this event and buy a ticket live. There's a few more spots, we're limited, we can only have 50 people uh, on site, I believe is the number, but you can also watch virtual for $20 and that money goes directly to making a difference for people with disabilities in the Halton region right. so that we can support employment and we can support housing and we can generate awareness. So we hope that you have a good time with the music and 
You might catch us live later virtually. My, my understanding is you're going to be doing a bit of an introduction. Well, I don't know. It depends on the time and how ready we are. So we'll wait and see. Yes. I, I have a meeting I have to get to at 6.30. So I'm, uh, you're busy making okay, a difference well, everywhere. We're lucky you popped in. There are moments when I make a difference. Yes. <laughs> and there are others when I'm trying. Yes. <laughs> That's well, what my like, children would say. Trying, very trying. trying. <laughs> <laughs> Our families are always the hardest on us, right? That's true. Yes. But it's that, it's that hardness that pushes us to move and overcome those obstacles. And that's what you do. You're inviting Burling to move and you face those tough conversations to overcome those roadblocks. So I'm very grateful that you are in this community and I got to meet you today. And I'm very grateful that you're here in this community today. <laughs> and I got to meet you as oh. well. So it's lovely. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity to talk. And uh, I look forward to doing it the next time. Yes. And thank you to our listeners. Keep tuning in. We are going to be back. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>